Hey, what is up guys? So in today's vlog, it's just gonna be a pretty chill day. Um, there's really nothing planned for today except for just chill, relax, go to the bank real quick, uh, do some little stuff around the house. So basically today, it's just been a pretty chill day. It's already like one in the afternoon right now. All I've done is really slept, watched movies and stuff because as you guys know, I got chemo last week. So mainly the next two weeks, I just wanna relax and chill and do nothing. So yeah, right now I'm just in my living room uh, using my new selfie stick. Loving this thing. Literally, this is the coolest selfie stick ever. I'm so glad I got this. This one is so much better than the old one I had. So definitely, if you guys need a selfie stick, I definitely recommend the original selfie stick. They sell it at Best Buy, and it's just really good. So, yeah guys, that's it. all I can think of to tell you guys right now. Uh, I got my hair cut yesterday. Glad, finally got my hair cut. Finally can relax and not have a messy head, like usual. So, yeah, we'll see you guys back in a while. Alright guys, so whenever I'm on steroids, I always seem to be hungry because steroids cause your um, appetite to like rise really badly and make you just want to eat everything in the kitchen. So I think I'm going to make a cake, guys. Why not? Why not for the vlog today? I don't know what kind I'm going to do. Let's see, I got some frosting here. We'll see. I'll make that part of today's vlog. Let's see, which kind should I do? Let's see, we got traditional vanilla. If you guys don't know, I love to bake. It's actually one of my hobbies. Uh, I got traditional yellow. Traditional vanilla again. And then, so that's for Pillsbury Doughboy. And then for Betty Crocker, we have yellow cake mix. And I think there's a bunch of yellow cake mix. Yeah, yellow cake mix. <sighs> uh, we got brownie mix. Oops, sorry. Still trying to get used to this selfie stick. Uh, yeah, so I don't know which kind we're gonna do, but we'll see in a second. All right, guys. So I decided to go with the traditional yellow Pillsbury Doughboy cake mix and the Pillsbury uh, milk chocolate frosting. So let's get baking. All you need to bake this cake is one cup of water, half of cup, half a cup of oil, and three eggs. All right, so let's go to the fridge and get our eggs out that we need for the cake. So you can see what we have in our fridge. So here are the eggs, just normal old eggs, nothing special. One, two, three, sorry. Next we're gonna need the uh, measuring cup, which I believe should be in here, I hope. Nope. Why is my dad always moving it? I never know where he puts it. Oh, there it is. So here's the measuring cup. We're also gonna need the vegetable oil, which is right here. Just plain old vegetable oil, nothing special. Step number one, set oven to 350 degrees. Coat bottom of pan with non-sticking spray are shortening and a flour dusting. All right, now let's spray down the pan with this so it won't stick to the pan after we bake the cake. Step number two, combine cake mix, water, oil, eggs in a large bowl, mix until moistened. Be with the mixture medium speed for two minutes. Pour batter into the pan. All your uh, cake mix first. What you actually want to do first is you want to get your three eggs and crack them all into the bowl that you're going to be mixing in first. The reason you want to do this is because you don't want to get a bad egg, and you'll know what a bad egg, what a bad egg is if you have one. Basically, it's black, it's nasty. So I'm going to crack the eggs into here, just simple like that. Make sure you don't get any shells into the mixture and then the last egg of course so there we go okay so now that you make sure you didn't get any eggs in the mixture make sure you throw your eggs away I just hate the way that egg feels on my hand. So then you're gonna wanna just mix it up a little. I don't know if you guys can really 
probably not very see it very well from there but just mix up the eggs a little and then you're gonna want to add your one cup of water it really doesn't matter what order you do this in and then your half cup of oil so let's measure out the half cup uh, okay so there's the oil so you're just gonna add that in there like nothing and then the last thing well, I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit and then the last thing to add is of course whatever cake mix you prefer I prefer the yellow one the yellow cake mix so that's what we're gonna be using so let's get this open and just dump it all in here sorry guys didn't cut a very good hole on this so after you've added all your ingredients together you're gonna wanna Oops. Just mix it around until it's at like a, obviously like a, it's mixed together. So just keep mixing it until you get that texture of cake batter basically. So I'm almost about finishing everything, making sure everything is uh, completely together besides my little, uh, mixture thing here that broke I don't know how that happened but whatever good thing I already finished so let's get this into the pen all right so this is pretty much just really simple all you really have to do and like I said make sure before you have this completely coated with either butter spray or something so the cake will not stick onto the pan so just dump it in here and make sure you just get everything out of your mixing bowl Let's see. Couldn't find my other whisk, so I had, to, I had to settle for this whisk, and I don't like it very much. As you see, it broke. I don't even know where we got this whisk from. Oh, you know what? I think I know where we got this whisk from. Okay, but never mind. Okay, so then, as you see, it's in the pan, and you're just gonna wanna shake it like that to even it all over the pan. And now it's ready to go inside the oven. Step number three, bake at 350. Follow the bake times below. When toothpick, it, when toothpick inserted in the, in the center comes out clean, cake is done. Cool off 10 to 15 minutes before removing from pan. Cool cake completely before frosting. Store loosely covered. All right guys, so you're gonna wanna place this in the oven. You're gonna wanna bake it for 35 minutes. Also, it, does, it, it depends on what kind of pan you have. But for this pan, on the back of the box, it does say about 34 to 38 minutes, so I usually go about 35 minutes. So make sure you use an oven mitt because you don't want to burn yourself. So let's open up the oven. So we'll see you guys back in 35 minutes. baking a cake or when your mom's baking a cake, your grandma, your aunt, your grandpa, whoever bakes in your house, uh, when you're baking and you're just sitting around waiting for it to be finished, then all of a sudden you smell in the air and you can just smell it. Literally that is the best ever. I love it. Like there's only a few moments like that in life, like Thanksgiving, Christmas, like you know with the turkey, the cookies, now a cake. Literally I love the smell of it. So I think it should be done in, let me see how much longer. In 10 more minutes so as you see right here 
It's getting finished. Do you smell the cake, Chewy? Do you want some cake, Chewy? Do you smell it? Does it smell good? Yeah, it smells good, huh? All right, guys, so the final test you're going to want to do before your cake is absolutely done is, and also to make sure it's absolutely done, is you want to get some toothpicks. Just one toothpick will be fine. Um, okay, hold on, give me a second to grab it. All right, so you just get one toothpick. What you're going to do with this toothpick is you're going to obviously first put an oven mitten on because you don't want to burn yourself. And I definitely can't afford to burn myself considering I have a low immune system right now. But anyways, so you're going to open up the the uh, oven and you're going to dip the toothpick inside the cake and if it comes out clear with no dough, I mean no um, batter on it, then you know your cake is done. So let's see if it's finished. Let's see, is it finished? Yes, it is finished guys. So I'm gonna take out the cake and I'm gonna start letting it cool off. And also don't forget to turn off the oven after you take out the cake because the last thing you want is a fire in your house. All right, so we're gonna let it cool for a while, and once it's cooled, we're gonna frost it. All right, guys, so what you're gonna wanna do next is get your frosting, put it in the microwave for like 15 or so seconds just to get it um, a little softer so it's easier to spread across the cake. So usually I use these kind of, uh, it's like a, it's not a knife, but it, I, I guess it's just used for frosting, makes things easier. So you get it, just get it out. Not gonna do anything too fancy, obviously. Just gonna be spreading it over the cake. So, all right, so there's the finishing product a K for Kayla, obviously. So, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Just this little part of the vlog, the vlog will continue. So we'll see you guys back in a while. Also make sure you cover it up with some kind of wrap so the cake will not get dry because that's obviously the worst thing is dry cake. Well, as you guys know me from Miss WWE Fan 13, you guys know I love wrestling. I love to go to wrestling events and that stuff isn't cheap, guys. So I gotta go to the bank to make a quick credit card payment because of all of my spending I've been doing on WrestleMania. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So 226 dollars towards my credit card. Sassy. Alright guys, so a lot of people ask me, what do you do all day since you're, you, you do YouTube and you get paid? Well guys, I don't do much, let's be honest. Um, pretty much my day consists of responding to you guys on Kick, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, Wrestling Amino, whatever you guys decide to message me on. I message everyone back and I'm always editing videos, thinking of video ideas, recording videos from Mr. Fan 13 planning my trips ahead for wrestling. So yeah, if I'm not here, laying in bed right here, uh, responding to you guys, to comments, I'm usually right here on my computer, just editing videos, um, and yeah, so just here, editing videos, eating cake, living the life, you know, just kidding, but yeah, that's all I really do, to be honest, guys, um, and I love to do it, don't get me wrong, and it's also a plus that you get paid to do it. Alright guys, so I'm going to end the vlog here today. I'm just not feeling well. As you see, my cheeks are getting rosy red, meaning I'm probably going to be getting a fever soon. So, just want to get some rest so I don't have to go to the hospital or anything. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Something a little different than I usually do. And, uh, yeah, so make sure you go follow me on all my social media, which will be in the description box down below. 
And if you want to send some fan mail, my PO box is also down below. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.